What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I am John the Potter. Happy to have you here in this video. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite things in the studio is these Advancer kiln shelves. So we now have these Advancer kiln shelves for all the kilns, including the gas kiln. So I have them for my Scut 1027, my 818, the two, the three electric kilns, and then the gas kiln as well. And I'm just gonna talk about why I love them. I know they are expensive, but they are having a Black Friday sale, so I thought you might be interested in that. Uh, but before we talk about that, I wanna talk about our Black Friday sale. So we have a bunch of pots going up on Black Friday, November 24th at noon. Tons of grab bag pots. We have a grab bag mug sale. So you, you know, you pay a lower price and you don't get to pick what it is. It's kind of fun. Uh, plus a bunch of the pots that are in this kiln that you will see come out in this video. We're gonna talk about the shelves, talk about the pots. Uh, planter grab bag sale, just a bunch of stuff to kick off the holiday season. So check that out, noon, November 24th. So if you've seen these in my videos, you know, like a ton of comments about what are these kiln shelves? So there's really three reasons why these kiln shelves are amazing. Uh, number one, they are super small. So if you've seen other kiln shelves, they're usually three quarter of an inch or an inch thick. These are little. So you can see how much more stacking you get because of that. Second reason is because they never warp. These have been fired, I don't know, a thousand times in the last couple years and they are perfectly straight, which you know, different style kiln shelves, that is not the case. And then the third reason, my favorite reason why I love these shelves so much is because the glaze comes right off. So if you have fired other shelves before, you know your glazes drip and then the kiln shelf is messed up. The pot is typically messed up. You get chunks off the bottom. I have saved literally thousands and thousands of dollars of pots because of these shelves. The only downside is that they are an investment for sure. So I'm gonna unload this kiln and kind of talk about the shelves a little bit, talk about some pots. We got some nice little white bud vases. Doing a lot more white these days. Got a bunch of candles in there. These were a super popular glaze combo for those Christmas candles. So I'm gonna have some more of those made. White gloss over alabaster. So as far as, you know, they have the advancer, 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 and then these are a different type of shelf that came with. You can see in here some of these plates drip and then I can just take them right off here, I'll show you. So you can see right here, some of these plates dripped really bad, see that? But when I go to like lift it up, it just pops right off. See this one dripped right there, boop. You just lift it up, comes right off. So there's another one that dripped, just comes right off. Bottoms of the pot are totally fine. Pretty amazing. Woo! All right. So this is a kind of a new combo. Putting white gloss over a few things. That's really cool. Very cool. That combo, white gloss over alabaster, has just been really popular one. Very cool. Very. That's just uh, Norse blue and blue surf. All right, so these first couple shelves, these two are not advancer shelves. And then this one is, this one is, this one is. And I could see when I took that plate up on this shelf, it cracked the bottom of the plate or it took a clay off the bottom of the plate. But when I did it on this, this one, it did not. So that's kind of one of the amazing things too. There's a sweet mug. That's definitely going up on the Etsy shop. Ooh, nice big blue bowl, wheat, some nice little blue bowls that match that big one. People love their blue pottery, that's for sure. It's a plate blue plate, some spoon rests. Those are nice. This is a very blue kiln. It's more blue plates. Fortunately, they really, really dripped a lot. So I want to show you. So this is what it looks like on an advancer shelf when you get a lot of dripping, right? The glaze doesn't pull any of the clay off. This is what happens on not an advancer shelf. See how all that clay came chipped off, basically ruining the bottom of the pot. And you can see this plate is completely fused to this shelf. This is not an advancer shelf. All right, crack down the middle. This plate's ruined. It's gonna take a little time to get this shelf figured out. So the advancers really help. You can kind of be a little more risk-taking in your glazes. You know, when you wanna clean it up, you just take anything really. And then the glaze just comes right off. That's really literally all it was. So you can see that we've had other dripping on these shelves too. And then, you know, if you are using porcelain, they say that kiln wash is really good on these shelves because you can get some plucking with porcelain. If you just use stoneware, you don't need it at all. Anyone? Anyone? You know what that mug is from? Any Yellowstone fans out there? I've been watching Yellowstone in the studio and I thought I would recreate the, uh, the John Dutton mug. I like it. It's pretty good. More blue vases. 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 Yeah, those turned out sweet. Some big blue mugs. Blue and white, love those. 
Look at that. Look at that. I'm pretty happy with those, those John Dutton mugs. Yellowstone. I'll have those on the Etsy shop if you're a Yellowstone fan and you want to try that out. The reduction in that clay. Holy cow. Look at that. Wow, that was cool. That I like those Mako. This is just Mako white gloss. Uh, and then that's plain buff stoneware from Continental Clay. Really nice. Yeah. I just pulled this out of the bottom. There was some good reduction in this kiln. That's cool. That's really cool. That's Kai's. He put glass in the bottom of it. I do feel like what I, uh, one thing we're learning about this kiln a lot is that the bottom shelf, I feel like gets quite a bit different than the top. So blue surf and alabaster. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Here, I'll show you a little closer up what's happening here. So, got these are all going to be candles. That white gloss over alabaster, green gloss over alabaster, red gloss over alabaster, bowls, more Yellowstone mugs. This is some Akai stuff. So far, everything besides those plates is turning out really nice. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, those, those are really cool. Woo! Love it. Wow. That's those. Sweet, only a couple things that didn't turn out really nice. This one's got some pinholes. I'll refire that in the electric kiln maybe. Hey, well that was a sweet kiln mode. Comment below if you have any questions or anything about the advancer shelves. I would say they have been 100% worth it for me. The increased stacking that you get, the no warpage, the amazing fact that glaze doesn't stick and that it comes right off. You can't beat them. Shout out to advancer kiln shelves for making what is this most superior product for sure? It's been great for us and uh, hopefully good for you too. So if you guys need anything for the holiday, I got some really, really cool stuff. We've been learning this is gas firing number 13. And so every time it seems like stuff just is coming out a little bit better every time. So this one, the John Dutton Yellowstone mug, introducing that, it's pretty fun. All right, cheers guys. Happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays. We'll see you guys in the next video.